Good evening folks, welcome back to another video with me Andy. Hope you're all doing well. So today it's snowing like crazy, but I thought I'd get this video done even though my son and other half are off. Hopefully the, I can get through without too many noises in the background. But anyway, as you saw by the title today, we are tying a black mamba. So this fly was originally done I believe by Gareth Wilson. I think it's Gareth Wilson from a UK Fly Fisher. I believe it is Gareth, 100% Gareth Wilson, I'm terrible with names. So I apologise if I've just butchered your name there, but anyway, this is one of his um, best, um, well, it, it, it's a Zonka pattern, everyone says, oh well it's just a Zonka variant, it is a Zonka variant, but we call them names so we can know exactly what that type of variant is, because a black Zonka is a totally generic term for a fly that uses a black rabbit strip, so it could be anything on the body, so this is why we do our flies with different names. So anyway, this here, hookwise, this is an ST900 by Troutline in a number 8. I love these long shank ones because I've got the grab gear points. I love the grab gear points on all my flies. The bead we're using, this is a 3.2mm green. If you look at his, he's got like a beaded version which he calls a stalk inversion. And then the original, which actually has green thread at the head. Usually all of my Zonka patterns have beads on them because I like the up and down motion when you're pulling them. So that's why I did green, because this is actually green thread at the head, so I use a green bead. The thread I'm using is the Textreen 60 in black. And I'll start this thread. I've actually got too much thread there. My cat is clawing at the door. What are you doing, cat? Hey, cat. But anyway, let's start off. So it's an 60 Textreen in black thread, and we'll start down the bead and whack it down the body. So we're just basically getting a layer of thread here on the body. And then we're going to trim off. The next step is some, this is basically some chartreuse crystal flash. So I'm going to grab a few of these fibres. I don't like crazy amounts, so that will do, I don't know, maybe there's 8 to 10 there maybe. I would have thought, ish. So I'll just trim off 8 to 10. I'm actually just going to trim these off so they're all pretty much straight. So when I tie them in, they uh, give an even body. You don't need an even body because I'm putting dubbing on the body. But anyway, so tie that in and then do a turn at the back. This will just help it stand up so it doesn't get wrapped too heavily in the zonker. Uh, sorry, in the hook. So I'm now just going to trim this very slightly. So that's good. I'm happy with that. Next step for me, I don't use any wire like his original pattern. I don't like the wire around the body. I don't think it really helps massively in longevity. I've never had one of these fall apart ever. So that's just my personal preference. Now Zonka length, what I've done is I put it up against it and then measured the length of the hook and then did two full hook lengths. And now what I do is I put the Zonka strip up against the bead. I'm going to mark it with my nails on my fingers exactly where I need to strip back the Zonka strip. I'm just going to put that in there just to test. Yeah, got the length perfect. Now just place that in there, take your thread. I'm doing eight turns on there. I like it I like a lot of turns on there. And then do a few in front. I'm just going to close this door again now we can't stop clawing. And then take this thread. I'm just going to basically tidy up the body a little bit now. There we go. There's that body tidied up. Now, in the original uh, fly, uses the um, the glistered dubbin and peacock from Veniard. I do have some of that somewhere in the box down here, but I don't actually use that one. I use the this is the side by. Spectra Flash in Peacock. As you can see, if I move that around, I love the colours of this stuff. Absolutely superb colours. So now I'm just going to grab a pinch. Basically, just dub this on to your thread. What I'll do is I'll probably just taper this up like slightly thinner at the back end, and then just basically, like a. It probably just doesn't make a difference to the fish, but it's something I like to do. 
I just taper it up so it has that kind of fish body like where it's thinner at the back end and then thicker at the front end. So I'm just dubbing this onto my thread. And now we'll just start at the back. So I'll just start relatively thin at the back. And as I work up the fly, I'm probably going to have to put a little bit more dubbing onto this body. As you can see, I'm just getting gradually slightly thicker as I go up towards the uh, bead. Now I'll dub a little bit more on. I'm going to have to leave a very slight gap behind the bead. So we'll go right up to the bead, we're dubbing thick. What you're going to then struggle with is tying in the uh, zonker strip over the top. And I'm just dubbing another little bit onto my thread. Again, just start there. I'm just basically building this up, making sure I leave a gap. There we go, as you can see, there's that slight gap now behind the bead. So that's looking good. Now grab your zonker strip, pull it over the top. I want this to be relatively tight. What I actually do is I pull it tight with my left hand and then cinch down on top. Just press it down with my left hand just where I've pulled it over tight. Do five or six turns over the top. Now what I do is I come in and trim off this excess piece of zonker strip and I go all the way around it. And then with my nail, I then push that in to my countersunk section of my bead. And then just come in with your thread and just tie that in. So if you wanted to, you could actually probably finish the fly here. But I'm not, because what I want to do is I'm going to get some more of the peacock flash. I'm just going to put this onto my thread. Now for extra security, what I do here is I grab some varnish. This is just basically make sure the zonker strip never comes off, never, yeah, never breaks or whatever. Put some varnish on my thread before I wind. Now that varnish is now going to sink into the zonker strip and sink into everything. And also it'll stick to your dubbing, it'll help it stick, make sure your dubbing never comes off either. So there's your collar. Just use your fingers and just pull everything back. Grab your varnish again, put it on your thread. Come in with your whip finish. Five turn whip finish. Pull it nice and tight. Come in with a pair of scissors. Trim off your thread. And there you have it. There is the black mamba. Great fly, super productive. Give this one a go in your still water. You're uh, definitely going to catch some fish. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, so maybe perhaps subscribe to my channel because probably half the people watching aren't subscribed. That would be great. And I will see you on the next one.